Hey guys, today I'm going to be reacting to Naruto Shippuden episode 485 and the title of this episode is called Naruto Shippuden Sasuke Story Sunrise Part 2 Coliseum. I'm really excited for this episode because in the preview for this episode that was in the last episode we got to see Jugo and the rest of the Taka in Orochimaru so I'm really really hyped to see that. Also I'm, I'm hyped to see more of Sasuke because Sasuke is a freaking badass. I'm going to stop wasting your time because I'm really excited to watch this and let's just dive in with this week's episode. I actually skip the opening this time because <clears throat> you know it's the same opening as always so uh and there was nothing before the opening i i checked so just might as well just dive right into it i don't remember kakashi's voice being this deep I mean, it is the same voice actor, I'm pretty sure, but I don't remember it being this deep. Oh, uh, yo, that's actually pretty cool. Instead of gravestones, they have bamboo. Showing the culture of that tribe, or village, or however way you want to say it. I, I, I straight up feel like that girl is, like, in it. Yeah, why? Oh. I still feel kind of sketchy about her. I feel like they might not 100% be good people. But I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't have an arm. She's older? Even Sasuke's confused. By that much? <laughs> I wonder, is she using the same jutsu that Granny Sonata would use? Yo, now I'm feeling even more suspicious about her. Aww. He's remembering about the Itachi. I mean, more flashbacks, but these ones don't hurt, really. That's all Naruto is, straight up. Just flashbacks. <laughs> I feel like he's already on that, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, Sakura was one of the few persons who knew about, you know, Sasuke's whereabouts. She's so annoying. He's starting with Orochimaru, isn't he? The person who knows most about KK Ninkai. So it makes sense for him to go to Orochimaru. Hey guys, sorry the library uh the recording got interrupted here. So I was spoiled about one thing, so you guys missed out my reaction to the revealing of Yamato coming back and I was like I was like that, so I'm sorry guys.
I didn't get. I, I actually stopped the recording right here, so I didn't hear what he had to say or anything like that. So he. Oh, so Yamato's watching over Orochimaru's whereabouts. I mean, that makes sense, though, right? <laughs> Ooh. Yamato's being suspicious of him. I mean, it's understandable. Someone was calling me. Sorry, guys. It's understandable for Yamato to be wary of Sasuke. After all, he's done, you know. <laughs> oh my god. So demanding, for real. He. So, my whole theory about... My whole theory about the little girl being part of this is completely thrown out the window now, so... Oh well. Even better than mine. Even the difficult is easy. <laughs> Yo, that's a nice compliment to freaking Orochimaru. I mean, he is the sensei, in a way. What will take some time to prepare? What do you mean by that? Let me put my phone on silent because it's on vibrate. There. Sorry about that, guys. Oh my god, she never changed. Even after... <laughs> Even after what Sasuke did to her. To get to. Oh my god. Yo! That reminds me. Remember when we thought freaking Karin could have been Salada's mom at one point? Yo! Remember how sketchy that was? Yo, sorry for spoiling for those of you guys who are anime-only viewers. Oh my god, I might have spoiled something important. So I'm sorry about that, but yo, for those of you who actually read the Naruto Gaiden manga, do you remember that shit? I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. Sasuke, you know, got in there for like, you know, once or twice, maybe a few times. <laughs> I mean, she is a kinky bitch. She loves it when Sasuke bites her. Oh my god.
Interesting. If he takes the bait. Yo, I thought Taka would actually join in. Aw, oh, come on. You can't just tease it like that. For real. You can't. Now I'm kind of mad. I thought they were actually going to join Sasuke. I wish they like sneaked in or something like that, for real. I was hoping that the Taka would come back, for real. That is true. Oh! I didn't know that! So that's where Kabuto went. makes sense so they're like pawns to be used the same way that itachi was used that's what it is who knows maybe naruto eventually will you know Grow to finally understand that issue. Or, you know, Shikamaru. So who knows, even though Naruto will become Hokage, maybe there'll still be a possibility of them being used as pawns the same way that Itachi was. Dang, that's deep. I honestly never even thought of it like that. It's just because I thought we were finally in peace and all that stuff. But yeah, that's still, you know, in case something happens, you know. There might be have to be a new Itachi. <clears throat> What's this? It's like a little coliseum and like a ring. It's like the world tournament. <laughs> oh, coliseum. That's the title of this episode. So it makes sense. <clears throat> Yo, I like this dude. This dude looks so swag. He kind of... There's another Dragon Ball Z reference right there. If you guys know what I mean. The whole mic announcement. The freaking sunglasses. Yo, there's no doubt about it. The freaking hair. I mean, I know the hair's not the same thing, but the hair's like fabulous. Just like the one dude from Dragon Ball. Excuse me, guys.
This is cool. White moon versus the black fl uh lightning. Oh dang. What kind of jutsu was that? It was similar to like a magnet pole. But it was like electrifying. That was an interesting jutsu. So is Sasuke going to be the bait? Wow. I wonder if maybe there's something in her past where she's not a child of Rishima. <laughs> I knew Rishima was going to do something like that. I was like, where is it going to come? Where is it going to come? Rishima was like, like, he was so normal, and then when he was like, he had to process it. He literally had to fucking process it. It was fucking hilarious. He's like, he's like, wait, what? <laughs> My god. <clears throat> yeah, that's right, Sasuke. You're in it. I fucking knew it. Yo, Sasuke's like, you bitch. You didn't tell me shit about this shit. <laughs> Oh, so he's similar to Orochimaru in a way. Hmm, sounds familiar, doesn't it? We still don't know his drive, though. Excuse me, guys. Like, why is he doing this? Yo, he has more than a shotty gun, though. Let's not forget about that. Oh, it's like some hot steam. It burned off like the corner of his. Another one of those bodies, it's going to explode. Oh yeah, he had a cut. What is Sasuke? Yo! No! Come on, for real? Why? Why <laughs> cut it off like that? Come on, for real. Oh my god, like I wanted to see what Sasuke's gonna do to protect everyone. 
Because that's going to be, like, difficult. He would have to do, like, some Earth style or something like that, maybe? And, like, cover him up. But we haven't ever seen Sasuke use Earth style. But I know he probably could easily do it. He, I mean, he has the freaking ready on. <laughs> like, there's no doubt about it. He could, he could make up some Jesus to, like, to shield the attack or something like that. But who knows? We'll see in the next episode. Maybe the preview might have something... Because so far, all we've seen is him use Infernal style, uh, the Yatamaratsu, like it's a form of the Yatamaratsu, and then his Fire style air, and then his Lightning style. Other than that, I haven't seen anything come from him. I mean, he has his Sasuno, but that's not really like an element. And, like, he combines his, like, Sasuno with the uh, Tamaratsu, which is the, like, Infernal style, mixed with, like, the Lightning style sometimes, too. That's pretty badass. I don't fucking love Sasuke. Sasuke is such an interesting character. Um, but, like, never have we ever seen him use any other, like, elemental style. But I know he probably could. So there's the one dude. To Hell's Valley. Fushin. Ooh, Sasuke looks like he's about to go in. It looks like maybe the person we were looking for, like the person uh, uh, Orochimaru like, led us to and all that stuff, it looks like he's not really the bad guy. It looks like there's someone more. But maybe he has information of who really is the one who's causing all these humans and all that stuff. So, you know, originally when I saw the, like, the exploding human, that's what I thought maybe might be a possibility. Because I felt like, why would he create an explosion human? Like, unless he, like, this is, like, his plot to see the shotting gun. I felt like he was going to be more cautious because the way Orochimaru said about him, like, the, the way Orochimaru talked about him that said that he was going to be more cautious and wary about this. But he, he, I feel like he would have been, he wouldn't have created like one of those explosion humans like that. I feel like he knows information of the person who has this kick in Genkai. And that's why Hiroshimaru brought him here. All that stuff. So, here's another question though. Where's the, uh, where's Yamato though? <laughs> Yo, what if Yamato's the one that actually does the whole, uh, protects them with his wood style? Oh, that would actually make sense. Yamato using his wood style to protect like the explosion and stuff. Because we know Yamato's there, of course. No doubt about it, Yamato's there. Because he's, he's freaking, like, keeping his eye on freaking Rochimaru, making sure he doesn't do anything. But, you know, here's another thing. Is there someone who also is spying on Sasuke? But I feel like that's hard to do. You can't spy on Sasuke. Sasuke, like, will freaking, like, sense you from a mile away. So I feel like no one can spy on Sasuke, but... Um, honestly, if they're spying on Orochimaru, then there's also someone spying on Kabuto, most likely. The whole thing about, like, what Orochimaru brought up about, like, they're not really free, even though they were pardoned from all the, uh, terrors they have done, and all the stuff they have done, even though they were pardoned from that, um, they're not really free. They're, at any moment, if anything bad goes wrong, they will be used as pawns. That's what essentially Orochimaru said. So that was really that was some really interesting information that we got from that. Also, seeing Yamato being worried about Sasuke also like le it also led up to that as well. You know, Yamato isn't like like one hundred percent okay with Sasuke just yet. I feel like eventually he will trust Sasuke, but as of right now, I understand why he doesn't trust Sasuke, and I understand if anyone doesn't trust Sasuke after all he's done. Like, for real. He just killed a whole bunch of freaking samurai. Let's not forget about that. He killed Donzo. Donzo's men. Did I believe he killed Donzo's men. Or did... I forgot how that went. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he killed Donzo's men. Or was that Obito that did that? I don't remember. It's been a while since I saw that scene. Um, But he killed Donzo. And he killed... like He just killed like a bunch of people. Let's not forget about that. All he has done. So... Like, it's, it's understandable. But I feel like... Kakashi is doing that just because, you know, he's kind of like, he has to. It's like, 
as a Hokage, he needs someone like that. He needs like an, someone like an Itachi. And Orochimaru brought that up. Like er in every era, there's always at least one person like that. They always have someone to like stand like to go t to and to like have like um to take the burden, to take the pain. Um, in case if anything like mysterious happens, like insurance. That's the word Orochimaru said. Uh, so that was really interesting how he said that. Um, also, um, there was something else I had to talk about. What was it? Ah, oh, God. There was something else in the episode that was really important. The whole part's about Taka. <laughs> that was really interesting. It was just a tease, though. I really wanted them to come back. Jugo, all of them, for real. I freaking love Jugo. Jugo's one of my favorite characters in Naruto. Oh, my God. Such a tease. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of mad about that, man. It was such a tease. Um, I'm also going to open... Um, I'm going to upload the previous episode to my backup channel. A lot of you have been asking where was the previous episode, where was the previous episode. I uploaded it to my main channel, but the same day that uh, I uploaded it to my main channel, just a few hours later, I feel like maybe like... Maybe not even an hour, I feel like, after that, my channel got taken down again. So that's probably why a lot of you didn't watch my live reaction to that episode when it first came out. So I'm going to re-upload it today, right before I upload this one. So I just want to let you guys know. I know it's towards the end of the video, so I'm like, oh, I should have let you guys know in the beginning of the video. But I'm going to upload that before I upload this, as, so you guys can watch the previous episode first, and then watch this one. <clears throat> But this was a really interesting episode. My whole theory about the little girl being in with it. It's still a possibility, honestly. Yeah. Because she disappeared at the same time. Woo! She disappeared. And then this, all these events are happening. Maybe. Maybe. That's still a possibility. Maybe, because originally the um, the possibility of her being like the the main villain was thrown out the window because the Richie Mouse said like, oh, this dude might be in it, in with it. But then now you know we know that she disappeared at the same time as all these events that are happening. Plus, she's kind of pissed off about this happening too. Like we sh we saw some rage in her. Excuse me, so she, she kind of hates all of this and all this stuff, so it's understandable she is part of this. Oh, well, it's just some theory I'm putting out there. I'm probably 100% wrong, though, because I'm mainly wrong about this stuff, but who knows? We'll find out in the future. Anyways, I would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm going to end the video with that. If you guys like my reaction, please leave a like. Also, subscribe. Check out my other channel in the description box below. Also, follow me on social media where key guys update in case anything happens. And I'll see you guys next week with the next episode. Bye, guys. Thank you.